And with that, the Tom Green College Football Show is here. Alabama beat LSU. And I have to wear this on the show. But, congratulations Alabama fans. You've proven to be the number one team in the nation. Good for you. So, with that being said, they have a game this week that should be a win. <laughs> so besides that, we've got we've got Northwestern against Michigan, which I'll go into that game. Michigan clearly has issues. They clearly have offensive issues. They have defensive issues. They have coaching issues. They have ball issues. They have issues that, who knows, but this week they have to play with a sense of urgency. They have to play with a lot of heart. They have to play Michigan football, and it's time that they start doing that. I'm getting tired of Gardner not throwing the ball away when he has to. This is awful. I thought at the beginning of the season that State might not make a ball. It's Michigan that might not make a bowl, and they have to listen, and they have to get back to Michigan football now. I think Northwestern wins this game 24-10. to 10. But Michigan can still win this game. Northwestern is winless in the Big Ten. After the Ohio State loss, Northwestern is basically tanked. They can still win this game, Michigan. But they're going to have to prove themselves to play Michigan football. And it's going to have to start now. Or else they will not win another game this year. And they may not make a bowl. Although people are saying, oh, a six-win Michigan team will still make it. That's the part of the BCS that I don't like. Sometimes six-win teams should be booted out. But, that's a conversation for another week. Anyway, the big games this week. Uh, Duke and Miami. Duke is a better football team. Miami, I think, wins that game. Oklahoma State and Texas. Texas is back on the map. Um, Texas is now ranked. Texas was bad, and now they're better. And... Um, I'm going to pick the upset in that when Texas wins. I'm going to say 28-24. to 24. I'm going to say Texas in that one. The big SEC game in the week. Georgia against Auburn. Auburn proving to be a bunch better team than last year. And just the coaching change made it all. They had uh, Gene Chizik, now they had... Gus Malzahn, and he's proven to be much better. <laughs> so in that, I'm going to pick. I'm going to pick Auburn to win that game, 28 to 24 as well. Uh, Aaron Murray will come back, but I think Auburn. It's sad that Auburn is in the SEC West with Alabama. I believe that is true with Alabama, LSU, A and M. So who knows? Their basically goal right now is to win the Iron Bowl, <laughs> and I hope they do. Baylor against Texas Tech, another big game. Uh, who knows? I think Baylor will win that game because Texas Tech is really tanked. Ugh. And then the big Big Ten game of the week, MSU against Nebraska. If you've watched this show, you know how I feel about that game. I hope Nebraska wins because I don't want to see State in the championship game. I don't think any Michigan fan wants to see State in the championship game. Oh, but it's for the state of Michigan. You know what? It's like the state of Alabama. You roll tide or you war eagle. You go blue or you go green. I'm a go blue. Most people that are watching this are a go green. They're hating on me. But you know what? I'm going to say... Nebraska 17, Michigan State 14. Michigan State will have one touchdown on both sides of the ball. I still don't think they're the best defense in the nation. They're still gonna they're gonna have to play a Pac-12 or SEC team for me and beat them with defense to to convince me 
that they are the best defense in the nation. But I will say that they have a good defense, and I think they do get a touchdown on defense. I'm going to say, like I said, Nebraska 17, Michigan State 14. Mich I'm going to say Northwestern 24, Michigan State 17, or Michigan 17. Um, and that, my friends, is the college football show for this week. So, until next week, hopefully we get Adam back and hopefully Cole will be able to stay long enough to be on the show. But until next time, I guess since I lost a bet, I'll play it again for all the Alabama crazies out there. Catherine Webb is another one of those crazies. Anyway.